Everybody's had their feed, afternoon feed. She wants something else. She's milking, so but this is what I'm giving her. Haylage, very, very sweet smelling. It's actually for horses. So there's lots of nutrients in it, but she wants something better. Yeah, yeah. So I just thought I'd make a little, a little another, another video. One more video. <laughs> One more video about butchering, and it's not a very nice subject, killing an animal. So I just thought I'd, I'd share just about our animals, uh, just to say that they go to the local butcher and they are not uh, halal butchered as in the traditional way. They are, because the law in Denmark says that they have to be uh, stunned, that you have to, they have to be un unconscious when you, when you cut the throat. So therefore all animals in Denmark are stunned and they are really killed. Uh, I think they call it a nail, a nail pistol or something. We call it bolt pistol. So they're stunned first, and they fall down, and then they, they cut the throat. And so, as I said, it, it's it's not true halal, uh, but the, the Muslims in Denmark have accepted that method, and, and some think it's wrong. But um, of course, when you stun the animal first. They don't sense that they're being, I mean, anything anymore. So it, it, it does seem more humane to do it that way. And uh, I, don't, I don't wish to hurt uh, animals, but <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a big thing for some people to talk about because when you're killing an animal, you must be hurting the animal. But uh, yeah, you can talk about this a, a lot. But. I think when you like to eat meat, which I do, and I feel my body needs, it's important. I just feel it's important to have a, a good relationship to the butchering because that's part of the meat eating. If you don't want people to butcher animals, uh, how can you eat meat? Because <laughs> somebody has to do it. And um, but it's just not part of our life because we're so used to not talking about these things. Uh, so, but in our family, for instance. Um, uh, yeah, I think uh, all 
every every process I wanted to share with with our children because it's it's just part of life that we die and we are born and sometimes we're sick and sometimes somebody needs an operation or whatever. There's all things, all sorts of things going on in life. And so I was, I, I had all our babies at home, uh, home births, and gave birth to the three of them in our sofa, the sofa that I'm lying in often. <laughs> And uh, it was very, very beautiful experiences giving birth that way, because I don't really, I don't like hospitals. And it's the whole thing of also really coming back to the butchering, very nervous, tense people who are full of fear, which p people often are in hospitals. I mean, I don't think that's a place to, to bring a, a baby into the, into the world. Not for me anyway, it wasn't. I wanted to be in a place where I, I felt very loved and relaxed. Uh, and also I shared it with, with our children so that the, our big girl, she saw the, all the three births. And it's just, it's just natural, I feel. So my mother was there and my, at one of the births, my, my husband's mother was there and father. But the father left just, just before the baby came. So we're, <laughs> we're these beings, physical beings. And the whole thing of going back to the butchering, um, mankind has not had these nail guns. They've had stones, I mean rock, to, to kill, and, and spears. So the way the animals were killed was not nice for them uh, during the whole Stone Age period where the animals were killed for us to, to live. Uh, there was pain. Um, but as I've said so many times before, I think the animals are a part of this whole process and the fact that we are eaten by something and sometimes we're hurt, it's, it's part of life and uh, there's no fear really in it because the animal that, for instance, when the lion attacks its prey, uh, it's, it's, it's going to hurt that animal. But the animal gives itself to the lion so the lion can live. And uh, I'm treading on little worms and bugs and it hurts them when I tread on them. And uh, yeah, so we can talk a lot about this, but um, it's just to, to, just to say that the animals that we have killed uh, are not butchered in that way, uh, the traditional halal way, but they are, they are stunned. And yeah, I just uh, I'm I'm happy with with that method, and uh, and really the best would be that they were they were killed here on the farm, so they didn't even have to go into a truck. But I mean, it's all uh, he's he's very friendly, uh, the man who comes and, and gets the animals, and it's just always a good experience. It just there's a really good feel about it. So yeah, it's it's all fine, and and in on these YouTube videos we're not meant to all agree so people who don't like what I say it's okay it's, it's really okay and they don't have to see my videos so and uh, we're all unique we're all different we all feel differently uh, so yeah and 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 the fact that I eat meat doesn't mean that I think everybody should eat meat meat because it's just really a very uh, personal thing for our to, to sense what is it my body wants so life is good and I send you all my love and I just feel so uh, connected to you and also right now on the earth it's just so beautiful what's happening. <laughs> I feel these dancing videos I've been making, I've been so filled with joy and I just sense how, I mean the Christ light is just beaming through and yeah, it's, I just hope you're feeling it too. Life is so beautiful, and and we just whenever you feel you need to release something from your being, do it. And I'm going to make a video, I think, in a minute about this. Uh, release the old, release it, let it go, all the old ways, and um, come into this kingdom within you, the kingdom of God within you, and everything will change. Everything, you will start to feel rich, and you will embody the light. You will be the light. You'll feel so, <laughs> so wonderful. So, 
yeah that's what these videos are really all about to just encourage you to keep to keep going within and believe that you are so endlessly magnificent and beautiful and you're here to live the most amazing life full of love full of light full of joy so so good so and I'm gonna do a milking video I can see you all love the milking videos and I'm, I milk her every morning and she's very sweet and very lovely she doesn't make huge amounts of milk but I'll make a milking milking video <laughs> because I know that's what you want and and it's been so dark so I haven't really been able to to show you so I will do it soon Ooh, what do we have here what do we have here a little baby has gone to bed for the night Daisy, the little da Daisy, the little Daisy, Daisy's growing so well. She's gonna, she's gonna be dark. Yeah, yeah, your mummy's out there. Mummy's out there. I'm just have a look at Mary. She's growing so well too. Come Mary. Mary. Isn't she beautiful? And her fur, it's like down. It's not hair at the back of her. It's like the inner wool. See if I can get a get get a shot of it. It's not much light here. Let's see if I can get. Yeah. 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 Come. It's good for you to talk to your mummy. See this wool here. It's just so soft, it's like velvet. It's so beautiful. I'll show you in the sun one day. She's just so lovely. Yeah. We go. Yeah. So here they sleep all night. Those two. See you, my friend. <laughs>